Welcome to the Sand to Pearls Market Commentary, Market Week Ending, Friday, May 10th, 2013. Happy Mother's Day to you all, and congratulations on having been born. That is an accomplishment these days. Market Breadth. With this past week's market rise, our bull bear point and figure ratio rose from 1.73 to 2.10, back in strongly bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 3% to 2,324. The count of bearish stocks decreased 9%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 11%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now 23 consecutive weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Excel data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking on the membership tab, and clicking sign up. There is a two-week free evaluation period available for those who are curious. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 209 points for the 17th rise in 33 weeks. At a positive 443.26 points, it has risen above the September 2012 top, yet remains below the February 2013 top, the September 2012 top, the February 2012 top, the November 2010 top, and the January 2011 top, yet above the November 2011 top, the July 2012 top, the June 2010 bottom, the March 2010 bottom, the June 2011 bottom, the August 2011 bottom, and the December 2011 bottom, the March 2012 bottom, and the November 2012 bottom. In this week's volume analysis, the Russell 2000 ended in accumulation mode. In the last two weeks, it had three accumulation days and two distribution days. Of the other indexes, the S&P 500 deposit receipts ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, while the Diamonds Trust ended in accumulation mode. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the Russell 2000 also ended in either accumulation nor distribution mode. Momentum. With the CCI 20 daily at 130.55, we continue outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero-line reject long entry signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 13 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend eight weeks ago. The CCI 20 Weekly now has 19 weeks above zero and began a Woody's uptrend 13 weeks ago. At 208.52, it continues outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and two of the bottom five industries are negative. Bullish, computer hardware remains in the top five. Brokers, networkers, and semis have all entered the top five. Gold and silver has entered the bottom five. Bearish, disk drives has left the top five. Focus this week. Silver looks like a good buy now as this 2% three box reversal point and figure chart shows. As always, this is not professional advice. This video is intended as entertainment only. 
this market commentary submitted by Donald Pearl. Again, wishing you a happy Mother's Day. Give somebody a hug and thank them for helping to foster greatness in your life. Have a great week coming up and happy trading.